All right, good morning. We are at 10.30. Not 10.30 in the morning. The 10th month, the 30th day, the 23rd, 2023rd day, 2023. And uh, we are at, I think today is what they call Halloween. No, tomorrow. Okay, sorry. We're getting all mixed up on our dates here. Uh, but uh, tomorrow is the big All Hallows Eve, which is obviously a pagan holiday. And uh, our this country here uh, strictly keeps that custom up. Uh, we grew up with it. And customs are hard to break now. Uh, I don't pay any attention to it myself. But uh, a lot of wickedness goes on on Halloween. And, you know, they get to where they have to... Around here, they had to have a Halloween festival downtown here where they rope off some streets and the kids come get candy from the city and all that kind of stuff. And the reason they do that is because they don't want anybody roaming around on the real Halloween from neighborhood to neighborhood because it's dangerous out there, even in this part of the world. People do bad things. People put razor blades in their candy and poison in their candy and it's a it's a wicked world we live in to be honest with you but i tell you i'm i'm wasn't planning to talk about that i'm going to talk about two things here uh i have have a friend who has a problem with his archery called target panic and what it amounts to is that when he pulls the bow back he can't get to full anchor. He just lets it go. It's called snap shooting. You can hit like that, but the really good shooters come to an anchor. And they don't seem to be able to come to an anchor. Now, thank God I don't have that problem. Uh, it's something going on up here is what I've been told. But there are different remedies to it. But I want to suggest a possibility. It's just a possibility. And it's hard for me to relate because I don't have that problem with the anchor. But I have an anchor. Okay, the anchors are the... I used to do it here. This is an anchor. This finger here, index finger to there. Then I found out that a lot of split finger shooters anchor their middle finger to the corner of their mouth. Well, this is a rather mushy place right here, if you ask me. And, you know, you could corner your mouth, you could be all over it, you know. But there is one place on, that I know of in my body that's very precise, and that's my cheekbone right there. I know where that is. Now, you can move it around a little bit, but it's pretty small. And this point right here is my thumb knuckle. This is where I anchor. I put my thumb knuckle to my cheekbone and I'm going to be pretty darn close to being exactly in the same place and that's for my um, not for my split finger which I don't shoot anymore but for my three under let me show you how it works I'm here right there all right called an anchor if you're having problems it probably you might want to try that as an anchor because it's very precise. You can feel it. I can't. This right here. Hey, one thing about this right here, it gets the string real close to my face. Sometimes it'll hit your face. See there? But this won't because you're, you're out here like this. See? Just a suggestion. Try it. And if it doesn't work the first time, and I mean it's no good because it's going to be different. All right, the anchor point. Why is it important? If you don't have an anchor, think about a boat. You're going to be dragged all over the place out there. You, The wind's going to blow you this way and that way. It's a way to be steady, to know what you're going to do. All right, now, I got another suggestion for the longbow, you may or may not like. But I have found that I definitely can shoot more precise groupings 
when I cant my bow, all right, this is straight up, this is cant, this is 45 degrees, I found out that I can, and I learned this from shooting in a blind, because I couldn't shoot in the blind like this. I had to turn it way over like this. And I found out I can shoot better like that. So, that's what I'm talking about. This is, now, this is going to be my shot here. And we'll see what kind of grouping I can get on the pig. We'll film the first one and then we'll go to the pig and try. Okay. Now that's hard to beat right there. Now that I've spouted off, I'll probably miss, okay? But I'm doing the same thing, canting the bow very far over, thumb knuckle to the cheekbone. And you definitely would be less uh, visible shooting if you laid your bow over like that. And certainly in a blind, you would... I made a false release that time, uh, and I missed a little bit, but we'll do better this time. That's pretty precise right there. One more time. I'll do it once more and see if it's, if my... If I'm holding up. These are deer hunting distances. Now let me tell you, shooting at a piece of rubber, a rubber pig right here, is not the same as shooting at a live animal. I promise you that. This is much easier. A live animal is, is uh, way harder. to shoot at. I'm going to try to train myself to stay with this method. I do better with it. Now, I'm not super long way away here, but I uh, have another friend that, uh, in fact, two different ones. I want One of them is a friend and one of them is just an acquaintance. And both of them missed deer at about 8 or 9 or 10 yards the other day. Completely missed. With a bow. A little bit low. Which is okay, that's a dead kill. Alright, now, we're going to pull these arrows because I'm, I'm going to shoot one more and then we're going to see what comes of it. Get up here and get these arrows right here. Alright, we've got one that's too high. Every one of those right there is in the circle. And this one right here is not in the circle. No, there's two that are not in the circle. But they're good low shots and they're good. Remember with deer, deer like to duck. They have a they duck under the danger. Their instinct is to crouch and jump forward. Uh, getting away from whatever's trying to catch them is what it is. And what is trying to catch them would be some kind of a predatory animal. The anchor. The original anchors in the ships were made out of stone. They had a great big stone, and they carved a hole in the stone 
tied a rope to it and let it down into the ocean to anchor the ship. That's actually better than a middle of the body shot right there. That's a heart shot. Now what, and I'm trying to get around to my spiritual talk here, talking about anchors and stones. Now in quite a few places in the Bible, Jesus referred to himself as the stone. He is a stone or he is a foundation. He is the stone that the builders rejected, for instance. And that means that he was the best stone that is, he is God, he is the Messiah, he can give you eternal life. But the builders, who were the builders of the temple in ancient Israel, whenever they studied the different stones, they rejected Jesus. Now, the stones represented different gods. And so the, the builders, that is the ancient Hebrew um, people, they chose a false stone or an idol, idol, idolistic god. They chose Baal. Um, I can't think of the names of the different ones, you know. The Philistines had Dagon and different gods, which weren't gods at all. They were demons is what they were. And they represented them by making statues of them. So Jesus came along and presented himself to them as the living stone, a real stone, an anchor. Another mention of it, Jesus said, if you build your house on the stone, on the bedrock, then when the waves come and the, and the winds come, your house will not be blown away. Your house is your life your eternal life but if you're blown away you won't have eternal life so Jesus is the anchor or the stone all right now that's the way that it's coming out now so in archery I suggest we need a very precise accurate anchor to come to and with me just thumb knuckle to the cheekbone and I can do some precise shooting. Now, pigs don't duck that much like deer do, but I like to practice shooting low in case I do get a shot at a deer. The Bible is full of references to the stone, and they refer to Jesus as the anchor or the stone. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the way to eternal life. There is no other way is what he was saying. I am the truth. He said the truth, not one of the truths. The modern idea is that, oh, there's many ways to reach heaven. You know, you got all your different religions. He said, I'm the way. And then he said, I am the life. There aren't, many, there aren't many different ways. There is one way, according to Jesus now. I'm just repeating what he said. I'm, a, I'm an observer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the life. He's what life is. And he's saying that through me, you get eternal life. All right, the way you do it, let me shoot one more of these cheekbone to, I mean, knuckle, thumb knuckle to cheekbone shots right here. Oh, I got it too high. I got excited there. And when you shoot at a live animal, if you get the privilege and the pleasure of doing that, you may do that too. You may get excited. Come on now. Steady up. So just like in archery, you need an anchor. 
a stone. And in this human life, we have a man named Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah, to go with his Hebrew name. And he claimed he was the stone. He was the anchor. So that you won't be blown all over the place. Let's get to the point of how you get there. You must, in most cases, just ask Jesus to reveal himself to you. Because he's a supernatural being, and it's very difficult from to see him from this dimension. Even though he came into the world, he still was difficult to see him as God. And you can go ahead and get it done by asking him, Jesus would you show yourself to me? Would you show me who you are? Jesus promised that he would. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you will find. He means ask him. Would you reveal yourself to me? Look for me, and you will find me. That's what Jesus said. The living stone. Now you can ask him who he is first or you can go ahead and ask him to save you if you want to. You can just skip that asking him who he is because if you do ask Jesus to save you, you're actually admitting that you believe he can do it. And only God can save you and give you eternal life. Can't do it any other way. Now, I'm telling you what the Bible teaches. I'm not telling you what I taught. If I grew up somewhere and never heard of the Bible and never read any of the Bible, I don't believe I'd be able to tell you this stuff. I didn't make this stuff up. I read it and heard it over and over again. I'd like to say the Lord's Prayer with you to end this video and I'd like to ask any of you out there that are listening to me that have not come to Jesus you don't actually come to Jesus you ask Jesus to come to you and Jesus said that he would not come again until his own people asked him to come back that is the Jews the Jews by and large crucified him and rejected him when he came the first time but he said I will not come back until you speaking of his people ask me to come back again and you see what's going on over there in Israel right now now when do you ask for help well when you're getting I almost said a unsavory word then kick and they're getting it kicked right now. They're surrounded. I mean, they are surrounded. The Arabs have armed themselves. They are around Israel. They're surrounded, and they are a little people. And they can't hold out forever. And when that time comes, they will ask him to come back again. Now, that's a picture of us. When we get to the point where we're surrounded by our troubles, our sin, our addictions, all of the things that have happened to us, then we will say, come, Jesus, come to me, save me. So the picture of Israel is a picture of us individually. All right, I've got one more arrow, and I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. All right, that's no problem. We had a little phone call there. We'll check that later. All right, here it is right here. If you don't know the Lord's Prayer, Please recite it with me and and try to learn it. And if you listen to me, you're going to hear it a lot. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. 
Amen. Thank you for watching.